Hello and welcome to the first episode in the uh, PHP Object Orientated Programming series. Today we're going to focus on a, a sort of a brief overview, if you will, of uh, OOP in PHP. I'm going to demonstrate how we can actually define a class as well as um, uh, an explanation as to what a class is, uh, what is the difference between classes and objects, and how we can uh, look at everyday objects as classes and create those in our programming world. So what is a class and what is an object? Well, a class is a class is basically a definition of an object. A class defines what the object is in the sense that uh, what the properties are and, and the actions that the object uh, can have. Um, and an object is it's basically an instance of a class. It's a member. It's a, it has um, a state, a series of properties and values that you just you define explicitly. Um, uh, so, for example, uh, you, you define say the first name or the last name, whereas the class actually defines that there is a first name and there is a, a last name, but it doesn't actually define what they are. Um, so you can think of an object as an instance of a class. Okay, so you can have lots of objects. You can have lots of classes as well, but you can have lots of objects that that are objects of or instances of classes, right? So if you were to think of a vehicle or a car, for example, and you had a, a car class, that car could have a series of properties such as uh, number of doors, uh, color of the car, uh, size of engine, that kind of thing, whereas the object would define um, the actual the actual values. So, for example, the, the the actual value of the number of doors. So you could have uh, four doors, you could have five doors, you could have three doors, uh, number of, of, you know, the engine size and so forth, and the color, blue or white or black. Whereas the class knows that there is a property called color, but it doesn't actually know the value of that of that uh, of that property it's basically a blueprint a manifest of what the object can contain it's also um, a, a blueprint of how the class acts both uh, uh, within itself so a series of actions a series of methods um, that the car can do um, it doesn't necessarily define how those methods uh, work because you can actually inject properties into those methods and so forth but for example with a car, you have a you could have a method of starting and stopping and turning, and uh, pressing the indicators on and so forth. But the object could define how fast the car is going, or um, you know uh, how loud the music is playing and so forth. Because you can actually put in you know properties into those methods. So you could have a method of 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 uh, turn the radio on, and then you could supply. A series of properties to define the volume in which the the radio uh, sound is, you know the audio is playing at um, another example could be people okay so you could have a class that is a person and you could have a series of properties that the class defines so for example um, hair color gender first name and last name and then the object the member the instance of that class will define will actually define the value of the first name the value of the last name uh, whether it's a uh, the person is a female or a gender or, or, or whatever and the, say the hair, hair color and so forth and likewise with the car uh, the person can also have um, methods for um, sleeping and waking and um, working and uh, eating and so forth um, and also talking so greeting um, and, and so forth let's just uh, let's just create some classes now it might come a little bit more obvious as I do that so I'll, I'll, uh, I'll stop my rambling and get on with the code so the first thing we're going to do in PHP is actually define the class by the keyword class and we're going to use the person example as I mentioned before. So we're going to um, we're going to add the name of the class here, which is person. And we're going to open up the curly braces and close the curly braces like so. Okay. Now the next thing we're going to do is define the properties that make up this class. And the properties are first name, like so, as well as last name, 
and we're also going to add gender as well. Um, now you may have noticed that um, this red exclamation mark here that my IDE has picked up and that's because uh, it's there is an unexpected variable of first name. This is basically because I haven't declared yet the type, the data, the, the type of property uh, that I would like to have. And there's three types of properties that we can choose from. The first is public, second is protected, and thirdly and lastly, it's private. Now, uh, those types change the behavior of the properties. Um, so as a quick rundown, public allows you to access the, uh, the property outside of the class as well as change its definition, so you change its value, for example. Uh, protected only allows the uh, property to be accessed from within the class as well as from within an extending class. Now I'll talk about ex uh, class um, uh, extending classes and so forth uh, in the future tutorials. And private basically means that it's only accessible internally to that class. It can't be accessed uh, by extending classes and nor can it be accessed from outside of the class. Um, again, don't worry too much about those three. I will demonstrate in more detail um, as, I, as I go on. Right now, what I'm gonna do is just define these as public. So public, first name, public last name, oops, and public gender, like so. <coughs> Excuse me, now, uh, what we need to do is instantiate the class. And what there's a, a magic method that gets called during instantiation, and that is the constructor method. And like the properties, we need to define the type of method and all methods within the class can have these types. So again, it's pri pri private, public, and protected. Um, they have a similar meaning as the properties in the sense that private can only be accessed internally to that class. Uh, protected can be um, overwritten um, and uh, accessed in other classes and public can be accessed from outside of the class. Don't worry too much again about those just yet. We'll get into those in future tutorials. But right now I need to create a public, um, whoops, a, a public uh, function, which is the, whoops, the constructor. Now the constructor is a magic method, as I mentioned. Magic methods start with underscore, underscore. And here we go. So let's just save that, just so we can format it properly. And we're going to actually supply some uh, properties into this um, into this constructor. The first property is the first name, and the second property is last name. And you guessed it, the last property will be the gender. But I'm going to equal that to F. So we're going to default that to uh, F for female. Now what we need to do is set the values on these properties and we do so like this. So we put in a keyword called this and then uh, hyphen, greater than symbol, and then first name. Now notice my ID IDE has picked up that uh, uh, we have these three options here, gender, first name, last name, because it knows that uh, the scope of this has access to these three uh, properties. So again, um, oops, I should do that in between just for consistency. This last name is equal to last name. And this first name is equal to first name and gender is also equal to gender like so. And we're gonna save that. Now, the, the, the thing that we need to do in order to create this person class is we need to instantiate it. We need to create an object, um, a member instance that will have some uh, state, some explicit uh, values set against this person. So we're just gonna create uh, a person called Tom and we're going to equal that to a new person. Now what that does is it instantiates the person uh, class and we can put in three uh, properties in here gen uh, first name last name and gender so the first name here I'm just gonna have Tom last name I'm gonna have Ben 
and whoops and uh, I'm not going to bother with the gender as that is optional which will be set to actually no I will uh, I'll set that to M for male okay let's save that and then what I'm going to do is echo out Tom and I'm going to echo out the first name like so and then I'm going to echo out a new line like that I'm also going to open up the terminal um, so I can run the file so PHP tutorial one and we echo that and we have Tom so we have uh, we've accessed the first name the first name is the property on here now a couple of things that we can do is we can actually create a method to pull out the, the first and last name and we can do this like so it's going to be a public method because we're accessing it outside of the class um, and it's going to be a function and we're going to call this function um, say hello this is going to be an action that this person can do so we are going to return a string which says hello my name is and we're going to access the properties we're going to concatenate these properties so this uh, first name and if you um, followed along with my previous tutorials uh, I have a demonstration of concatenation um, and uh, more information as to how we can concatenate variables but for now uh, we're just going to concatenate this string so first name space and then this last name like so and we're going to save that and then what we can do here on the person is instead of um, call the first name directly we can call this method so say hello like so and we're going to save that and then run this okay so now we have hello my name is Tom Ben and <coughs> excuse me and uh, we can create several objects several member objects of this class so several class instances so we can have Tom and we can have Jane and Jane is going to equal a new person and we're going to instantiate the person with um, Jane as the first name and the last name is I'm, I'm just going to keep Ben for example save that and we're also going to do a new line here and then we're going to do Jane Jane say hello as well as Tom say hello and we're going to put in a new line just to give us some room and then run that so now we have this we have hello my name is Tom Ben hello my name is Jane Ben so can you see that we, we are uh, basically encapsulating this information within these two uh, objects we've created a single class called person and we are instantiating the person with some properties and the properties get set during the constructor constructor gets called on instantiation uh, so we call that automatically passing in the first name the last name and the gender uh, like so um, now other things that we can do is um, we can uh, we can also return the gender as well so for example we can do public function um, get gender and we can just return uh, this gender just like we've done before with the first name and last name and so we can do uh, say hello and then we're going to concat that to um, uh, gender is equal or, or colon to Jane get gender like so and we're going to save that run this and we should see that we have an F here okay so that's a, a brief a very very brief um, explanation into classes and objects I will be going into further far more detail as uh, the tutorials progress um, we're going to talk about public uh, protected and uh, private 
properties and methods in more detail in the next tutorial next Tuesday. So do subscribe to get that. But if you've got any comments so far, then please, or questions, then please leave them in the comment section below. Or you can grab hold of me uh, via Twitter. My Twitter handle is at PFWD. Like the video if you found it helpful and do subscribe to get the uh, next PHP tutorial next Tuesday as well as the web chat this Friday. Thank you ever so much for watching and I shall see you again soon. Thank you. Bye.